Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Redhead Goes Healthy. So today is Weigh In Tuesday and I am really excited to tell you about my progress. I have officially been doing the keto diet, basically. Uh, I tell myself it's a slash paleo because that's just my way, as you guys know, of a lot of of giving myself permission to have complex carbs if I if I want them, and that makes it less likely that I will eat them. Officially, this would be week five of doing that. I'm really glad that I decided to continue doing it. I think that it overall is the best uh, lifestyle choice for me right now. It's just one of those things where there's so many options and <laughs> because it's kind of turned into a fad, there's lots of people out there making really cool products. I finally tried the Aldi bread. Plain bread, zero carbs, zero. That tastes like bread. Oh my God. Oh wow. Okay, if you have an Aldi, I highly recommend you go get this. Yeah, so that, that, that bread is phenomenal in my opinion. I don't, I, I just, it's so good. So this week uh, was kind of interesting. It was a little different. I was invited to help volunteer at a telethon for this board game that's Star Wars themed. Don't get me wrong, I am a Star Wars fan. I like Star Wars. I actually just got Disney Plus so I could rewatch all the Star Wars in order, chronological order. There are many different ways that you can choose to watch Star Wars, but that's how I chose to watch it. So I was actually really excited to be a part of this telethon thing. And um, as you can see, it was like a real studio. It was pretty cool. The problem was that the shift that I signed up for with my friend was 1 a.m. to 7 a.m. So I was so tired. I was fine up until like 5 a.m. And then I was like, I just gotta lay down. I laid on the floor and took like a 15 minute nap. The other part of it was that there was craft services table and there's nothing ever healthy on these tables. I, I used to do uh, work in Hollywood as an extra. If you live in California, it's the easiest thing in the world to do if you have the time, make a, well, not right now during COVID, but when things go back to normal, if you're interested in learning how to do extra work, talk to me. I was in Iron Man 2. If you watch the Iron Man 2 scene, you'll see I'm in the very front row screaming uh, with Tony Stark uh, comes on the scene on the stage. So my point, <laughs> was there a point? My point was that craft services never have healthy foods. So of course this tray full of cupcakes, Cheetos, all the chips you can imagine. They made queso dip with nachos and oh, it was just so tempting. I didn't have a single bite of the bad food. There was even a moment that they had zucchini bread cupcakes and I was like, well, it's zucchini. That's healthy, but I was like, no, I, I'm not gonna do it. So super proud of myself for not giving in to the desire to just eat food in the middle of the night. Got home that night, slept for three hours, woke up, Saturday was just a blur. I was just in and out of consciousness the whole day and super worried that that would impact, you know, my, my weigh in on Tuesday. Hold on one sec, I'm a little thirsty. I'm just gonna, I just have this, for those of you who haven't already purchased this kind of thing, it's ridiculous. And I just wanted to show you, it's the size of my head. Here we go. I'm just kidding, I don't do that. I actually take a glass and I pour, and then I keep this in the refrigerator. <clears throat> okay, so where was I? So Star Wars, in and out of consciousness, all this is happening. Ended up going out with some friends on Saturday night and I had some beer and I had, that was the only bad thing I had when I went out. I just had beer. I like beer. And then, but then when I got home, I was like, gosh, you know, I kind of want something else. And so I found some goldfish. So I had some crackers, not goldfish, <laughs> that's gross. I found some goldfish crackers, so I ate some of those. There's a bag of frozen french fries in the freezer for some stupid reason. Like why? This, these are all french fries. My, the guy I'm, I'm rooming with temporarily like doesn't like french fries. So he keeps them for people who want them. I don't know, but I had some of these. Anyways, so I did that knowing what I was doing. And so that's that's an important part of this because the next morning I thought to myself, you know what, just get right back on it. Just get right back, back into eating the right foods for the whole day. So I mentioned that I used the keto strips and in that morning I was I got knocked out of ketosis. So that's fine. I probably had about 
I probably had about 150 carbs total. If you count up all the beer, the goldfish crackers, the french fries, all that adds up. So I wanted to see how long would it take for my body to get back into ketosis because I had been in that for like four and a half weeks. Guys, that evening I was back in it. I was back in ketosis, meaning my body was back into burning fat as a fuel source. Now I'm not gonna use that as an excuse to like eat poorly, but it was really encouraging to see that my body has already become so adapted to burning fat that it was able to deal with the carbs that I put in it and still burn fat. I went for a bike ride, that was pretty cool. I feel like I I'm ready to finally announce something about my biking journey. So for me, that's my primary form of exercise. Uh, I usually will do about 10 to 15 miles, sometimes 20 miles a day. I signed up for a 50 mile bike-a-thon thing that could either be done virtually, I guess, if, if you had a stationary bike, or you just go out to the trail on your own and you know record your route using Map My Ride, which is what I use. Yeah, I'm... Uh, super nervous and the fact that I'm telling you this means that I'm kind of committing to it. The furthest that I've ever gone is 30 miles. So 50 is a lot, but if I keep training for the next couple of weeks and train for those longer rides, I will hopefully be able to do it. Yeah, I said everything I wanted to say, except for the weigh-in. Let's do the numbers. That's my drum roll. Uh, okay, so last week I was 171.6. This week, Ah, 171. I'm pleased with that. That's a loss of 0.6 pounds, um, even with me cheating and drinking three beers and goldfish crackers and french fries. I feel happy. Like, I feel really excited about that number. So, uh, it's not too fast. It's exactly the right amount for, you know, based on what I did. So I'm just gonna keep, keep doing it and hopefully keep, uh, maintaining or losing. I will definitely see you guys next week for another weigh-in video and there might be some other surprise videos throughout the week coming up. I hope that everybody has a fantastic week. I also want you to know that I'm still planning to do my top five videos at the end of the week. I'm watching the videos. I'm co anytime I comment on a video, you know that I've watched it. And um, if I find that that makes the top five, then I will include it in my uh, top five video of the week. And you will be featured in that playlist uh, for the duration of next week. Okay, take care guys. Bye.